Aloha Kauai, here's our COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Monday, November 2nd. We currently have six active cases on Kauai. All are in isolation and two are in the hospital. There are currently 11 people in Department of Health directed quarantine as close contacts of the active cases. Contact tracing remains ongoing. Our cumulative case count is now 66 plus one probable. Kauai Police and Hawaii National Guard are tracking approximately 1,600 cases in travel-related quarantine. For additional information, please visit the Kauai Emergency Management Agency website at kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. With our local COVID cases increasing and infections spreading across the mainland and elsewhere, it is even more important that we take precautions. Wearing a mask limits your chance of spreading the virus just in case you're infectious but don't yet know it. Wearing a mask protects our entire community along with distancing, frequent hand washing, and avoiding large gatherings. Tuesday is the 2020 general election. Walk-in voting is open at the Voter Service Center in the Koi building through 7 p.m. on election day, November 3rd. For additional information, please contact the Office of the County Clerk Elections Division at 241-4800. If you received a mailed ballot that you haven't submitted, please vote and drop off your ballot at the County Elections Office next to the historic county building at the Koi Building Voter Service Center or at one of the county's ballot collection boxes. Collection boxes are accessible 24-7 until 7 p.m on Tuesday, November 3rd. They are easily identified by purple badging and the official seal of the County of Kauai. To view the full list of ballot collection boxes, visit the State Office of Elections webpage at elections.hawaii.gov. The final collection from the ballot boxes will be at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. As of yesterday, the Elections Division has received more than 29,480 ballots out of a registered voter list of 47,253. That's more than 62% and ballots are still coming in. Please vote. County offices will be closed on Tuesday, General Election Day. Additionally, all refuse transfer stations, all high five recycling locations, and the Kekaha landfill will be closed. The Waimea and Kapa'a swimming pools will also be closed. Some services will remain open. Residential refuse pickup will continue on its normal schedule and the Puhi Meadows Recycling Center will be open. The Kauai bus will be operating on its current daily schedule. Normal business hours for county offices and services will resume on Wednesday, November 4th. One of the safety issues we are most passionate about is promoting a second test, post-arrival test for incoming out-of-state travelers. If you have traveled here from the mainland and participated in the state's pre-travel testing program, whether you are a resident or a visitor, we urge you to take a second COVID-19 test no sooner than 72 hours after your arrival. The ideal time to take a post-test is five to seven days after arrival, but we realize many visitors aren't on island that long, so a test three days after arrival is preferred. To qualify for a post-arrival test, you must have participated in the state's pre-arrival test program. If you have not participated in the state's pre-arrival testing program, you are required to quarantine for 14 days upon arrival. There is no option for you to test out of quarantine once you arrive. There are two separate post-arrival testing programs. One is for visitors and one is for residents. For details, locations, and times, please visit koi.gov forward slash COVID-19 and click on one of the post-travel testing buttons. There are still several food distribution programs underway on our island. The State Department of Education's Grab and Go School Meals Program runs weekdays through Friday, December 18th. The program provides free meals to children ages 18 and younger, whether or not they are enrolled at the distribution site, are public school students, or are eligible for the free or reduced price lunch program. Only lunches will be provided, one per child, 
please call your local school for serving times. The county and the two Kauai food banks are conducting the Kupa'a Kauai food distributions every week through the end of the year for food insecure individuals and families. Households can pick up food once per week but must pre-register. Food distribution will be closed tomorrow in observance of Election Day. Registration starts on Saturdays for the next week and you're asked to register at least 48 hours before the distribution. Please be sure your email is correct. To register or for distribution times and locations, please visit kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19 and click on the green button that says food distribution. Additionally, the Hawaii Food Bank has scheduled a series of pop-up food distributions. The next one is scheduled Thursday, November 5th from 10 a.m. to noon in Anahola at Anahola Clubhouse. Advanced reserv reservations are required. For more information or to register, please visit hawaiifoodbank.org forward slash kauai dash pop dash up. The Aipono Kauai Challenge will celebrate eating local food during the week from Sunday, November 8th to Saturday, November 14th. Points and prizes are available to folks who do the best job of supporting local food systems by things like sourcing food directly from farmers through farmers markets, eating at restaurants that feature locally grown foods and support local hunters, ranchers, fishers, and backyard gardeners. For more information on the Aipono Challenge, go to hapahi.org. Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center will accept donations from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Friday, November 6, in Lihue at the Kauai Resource Center located at 3460 Ahukini Road. Please check local thrift stores to see if they are taking donations before bringing items to the resource center. The program will accept clothing, small furniture, children's toys, books, and shoes. Clothing and textiles do not need to be in good condition. Torn or stained clothing is okay. Please do not bring e-waste, chemicals, appliances, or broken items. The Salvation Army also offers pickup services to thrift stores and businesses, but not individuals. Please call 241-4195 and your information will be forwarded for next month's pickup service. For general information about the program or recycling in general, please call 241-4841 or visit kauai.gov forward slash recycling and kauai.gov forward slash reuse. Remember, we each have control over our exposure to COVID-19. We can keep ourselves and those around us safe by following very simple behaviors. Most importantly, please wear your mask over your nose, mouth, and chin anytime you're around people you don't live with. Please keep your distance, wash or sanitize your hands and shared spaces often, and please avoid large gatherings. Thank you, Kauai, for being responsible. Your diligence is helping us to keep this virus contained. We thank you for understanding the role you play in mitigating the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Please continue to stay home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, maintain a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask, if at all possible for you to do so. Remember, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. It's a sign of respect and aloha. Do not leave home if you're sick unless you're seeking medical attention and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. Stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Be kind, 
Take care of one another. God bless and aloha.